The handle was in a foul mood. It's not fair, he complained to the others. The thin controller is making me work on my day off. How does he expect me to be so good to work tomorrow if I have to work today as well? The other engines were growing tired of Sir Handel's endless complaining. You don't have it that bad, Handel. At least you had work to do. Besides, remember, I was stuck in a shed for 20 years. So you keep saying, Grandpuff. I have a story about Smudger. So, what about him? Had Having no work to do made him go psycho. And he did... He had a horrific dream. I would tell you about it, but it is rather scary. Oh, please, Grandpuff, tell us about it. All right, fine. And this was the story he told. There used to be five engines on the Midsodor Railway. Duke, <coughs> Falcon, Stuart, <coughs> and Smudger and Albert. <coughs> Smudger was a reckless engine and often came off the rails. The other engines warned him to be careful, but he wouldn't listen. Well, obviously he wouldn't because he's Smudger. Anyway, Duke continued with his story. One day, it came to an end for Smudger. The manager had had enough and had decided to cut him up to turn him into a generator. Why a generator? No one really knew the answer to that. So Duke just continued with his story. Albert was in charge of cutting up Smudger. They made sure he had the bunker and boiler left. They cut him up and put him on a plinth next to the engine shed so that he would be able to heat the shed in the winter to keep the crews warm. The rest of the year, he would just sit there and do nothing. And he would complain endlessly. It was a it was a bit of a shock to the other engines to see that their manager had done such a thing. But they had all been driven insane by Smudger. Metaphorically, of course, said Peter Sam. I just don't understand why our manager did it. Yes, well, let me continue with my story and you'll find out. Anyway. Oh, Smudger had overheard the conversation that the engines had been having about the controller choosing to turn him into a generator. And he drifted off sadly and, and miserably to sleep. That night he had a dream. A very horrific dream as well. No one knows why, but in this dream, he killed every last one of the engines on the Midsodor Railway. He pulled up to the shed in the middle of the night, and he smashed them through the wall, killing them. He was so angry, he could, he could have just killed them if he had his wheels still. He, he reversed out after killing Duke, changed tracks and smashed into Albert. Then Albert was dead. And then lastly were the young ones, Falcon and Stuart. He rammed into them, knocking Falcon over and pushing them through the wall in the shed, killing them. That night Smudger smiled smiled for the first time he had in many years and the first time he would smile for the rest of his life. And then came the hard times. The mine started closing down. The track became unaffordable to maintain. And then the dreaded news came from the manager. Closed? cried the engines. Why? We simply don't have the money to stay open. I will find new homes for you all. 
if I can. And he walked sadly away. I can't understand it, said Falcon. Of course you can't, said Stuart. We're only engines. We do not understand the funds needed to, to run this railway. All we know is money equals work. Smudger had overheard this conversation and was delighted that the railway was going to close. But one thing he didn't know was what would happen to him. He wasn't very pleased when he found out. While Duke was in his shed, he heard many screams and yelps from outside, and he knew they were Smudger. He also knew there was nothing he could do about them, as much as he wished there was. So you see, I you think you added bad, Smudger added worse. The engines were amazed. Well, I'd better go. Sandal stayed unusually quiet for several days.